Hi, I'm Chef Rafael. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious creamy salmon mushroom and peas tagliatelle pasta. It's super delicious and simple to make. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so that you're notified whenever I have a new recipe. Let's get started. So welcome to the show. Now today's ingredients is um, simple uh, in that not so many and what I've done, um, I have mushrooms, I have green peas, there's one onion, two cloves of garlic, there's uh, mustard, uh, mustard is optional but it actually adds some flavor to the pasta dish and then I finish off with some cream. Now I'm using uh, the tagliatelle, they are thin and rolled into, into bundles. Now tagliatelle usually comes like this, it's a, a bundle of pasta, uh, so there are several of them in the packet. So when it comes to cooking pasta, and uh, this is something I've been saying with this series of videos that I have with Barilla, is you have to check on the cooking time. Now this one says 6 minutes, so that's how long you cook them. So let me cut the, I'll slice the ingredients, now the onions and the mushrooms. You can also dice it, but I prefer having the slices for this particular recipe. Uh, now, onion, you can either dice it or slice it. Um, what I usually do whenever I'm cutting vegetables is try and make them uniform. In this case, I'm actually going to slice them, but I can also use chopped. Now, for the salmon, I've cut it into dices. I want a chunky piece of uh, salmon in the pasta. Um, it's not make them too small uh, because they will fall apart and they don't actually take long to cook. So we'll start by frying the onions and mushrooms. That's actually a good idea to do it on high heat. We want to brown them so the flavor comes in. And I'm only doing it the onions and mushrooms. The garlic can add a little later. Then again, to brown it, I'll add the fish uh, after a few, so maybe about a minute or and a half after cooking the mushrooms. And then for the salmon, what I'm doing is now, I'm adding it right now, and I'm creating some room at the center of the pan so that the salmon will also get to brown as well. And cook. I'll add salt and pepper. At this point, I'll add the garlic. Now the browning effect is what brings the flavor of this dish. And so far so good. For the salmon, it won't take long to cook. Um, but again, you can also be careful not to overcook the dish. At this point, I'll actually add the mustard. about a teaspoon of mustard and add the cooked peas frozen peas basically
and then I'll add the pasta, it's already cooked. Now what I did, after cooking, I put it in a bowl, and also have some of the water from the pasta. It will deglaze the pan. It's a really good dish. Then finally, the cream. Using some cooking cream, you can use whipping cream. That's about 100 ml of the cream. When you add the cream, you actually add the cream towards the very end of the cooking process. Because you don't want the cream to overcook, you don't want it to evaporate, and at the same time, you don't want the food to be too wet. Parmesan cheese is optional, but it actually makes a big difference when it comes to pasta dishes. So you add it at the very end. You can also add it on to the, when serving, when eating. So the idea is to have a creamy finish, not, not super dry and not too wet, and everything is all mixed together as it for serving. And then finally, Sprinkle. When you're serving pasta, especially like this one, it's good to serve with a fork and knife. I mean, a fork and spoon. Uh, basically, when you're when you're eating, you dig into the pasta like that, and then you can use the spoon to roll the like that. That's and then you not be having, then you have something that you can actually bite. Hmm. The salmon is not overcooked. It's still firm, not broken down. The flavor is there. You can taste the parmesan cheese. The peas um, add some nice flavor to the pasta. This is something you should definitely try out. And I hope you've learned uh, something new. Today I was showing you how to make uh, Tadia Tele pasta. It's creamy, it's delicious. I hope you enjoy yours whenever you make yours. Let me know in the comment section when you make yours, how yours stands out. So I hope you've learned something. Um, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And subscribe to the channel to be notified whenever I have a new recipe out. Until next time, goodbye.